Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 21st through the 27th. And I'll um, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below. Just realized Oscar's not here. Oh, he's there. And as I said his name, he woke up and he was like, who, me? Um, yeah. Change, uh, I changed some things around the room and um, I need to put a little bit of a carpet here because it's hard for him to jump up here without a carpet. So he's swinging out the door on a carpet. Ow. Anyways. <clears throat> so let's see, Taurus. Man, some rough energies for you. Okay. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Swords, healing or trying to heal certain things, certain aspects, and yeah, looks like it. In the recent past, the Five of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. You kept on telling yourself here that you're leaving a situation. I, I don't feel anything about this situation. I'm detached emotionally. I, I, I have nothing for this situation. Bullshit. But man, you are persistent. It's like, I'm going to tell myself this enough times that I believe it. But the heart has its own language and its own, you know, you can't trick it, basically. So whatever this was that you kept on telling yourself that about, you know, mm -mm. the five of swords is there and that gave you away. So, uh, no, no, you didn't detach yourself from something that you told yourself you did. In the current situation, the Devil, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Swords, you're trying to deal with an energy of loss, an energy of this particular thing is done, but how you're doing that is from the mind, not from the heart. And again, you try to trick your heart in the past there, too, about this situation, possibly about the same situation. And you're trying to do it again. Uh, this time around in a more sophisticated manner, I would say, something that... Um, shows up as being done but it's not um you're trying to spin some logic in there to put some to throw in some logic in this situation um it doesn't belong there the situation doesn't belong to the mind it belongs to the heart so i don't know what this is um i feel like there's a little bit of struggle here on your side with this one and because again you may have truly believed, your mind may have truly thought that you were done with the situation, you know, because again, keep telling yourself something enough times, you'll start believing it. You'll start being like, this is my reality, this is it. But if it doesn't match with the heart, it's not gonna work out. Uh, in the immediate future, the Two of Cups, the Moon, the Six of Swords, the love shows up here again for you but it's shown up very hidden very like you you threw it in the dark corner and you're like you sit there you don't bother me you don't talk to me you don't nothing to me unless i call you out but you sit right there you know and feeling while you're doing that you're feeling oh okay i, I tricked love again i did it you know so i feel like this whole reading is about that um, you're not tricking love. You're not going to trick your heart. This is just another tactic to fight against what you're feeling, basically. And we all do it, you know, one way or another, we all do it at some point. We kept on doing it for quite some time here. Let's do the Four of Swords. And you want to talk to someone here. You want to open up to someone, but you're not. You keep on delaying this process. You keep on, and it kind of makes sense with what's going on for you here at a personal level, energetically. It kind of makes sense that you're in this delay 
delayed process because I feel like there's an opening that's coming in. There's a uh, this wants to come out, you know. Um, I don't know if you are though. I don't know. Still in this process of kind of sitting on it, kind of. Oh man, what do I do with this? You know. Um, there's definitely something here, someone at the center of this that you find quite attractive. Let's do the Five of Swords in the recent past. Ooh, ouch, there you are. The Judgment card, the Lovers, the Hierophant. This is a very powerful connection, or was, or still is, because you're still kind of swirling around it um, for you. Definitely something tied up to you here. Very powerful, very strong. And it's your own decisions, your own choices around this situation. They seem to carry this Five of Swords energy. You know, this whole sense of you telling yourself certain things that may not align with the truth, the reality of things. So I feel like you've been doing that around this connection for quite some time. But... At the same time, it's been very transformative for you, very healing. Maybe you're not seeing it, maybe others are not seeing it. Who the hell cares? The energy is definitely here of healing. Let's do the Four of Pentacles. Three of Cups, Two of Swords, the Justice card. You never let go of this energy, of this... No matter what you told yourself about this one, you never let go of... Uh, feeling and knowing that this is something that's staying there. It's not going to go away anywhere. You're always going to want it. It created a whole lot of confusion for it, but you're definitely bringing in a sense of, I'm never going to give this up, you know? Um, so trying somehow to live with that, to reconcile with that, and just kind of trying to find balance through that so that you can you know, live your life, basically. Uh, but this energy is here, and it's telling me I'm never letting this go. Let's do the Eight of Cups, which is letting go, but again, coming in with those energies, they're showing me that no. Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You let go of the intention to do something, of the action towards this. You definitely let go of that, but even that in itself confused the hell out of you. You kind of approached this method of I'm taking care of myself, I'm putting myself first, and myself says, I don't want to do this, god damn it. And you didn't. You stopped doing it if, if there was something you were doing here. However, energies are there playing off underneath this energy. So even though at the surface, yeah, you get to make the decisions, right? You have free will, we all do. The energies say a different story underneath it all. So you may have aligned with your mind, your decision about it, not with what was in the energies. Um, <clears throat> well, let's do the devil in the current situation. The four of swords, the seven of wands, the four of cups. There's a there's a sense of unhappiness. There's something. Creeping in under your skin saying, I'm unhappy. Um, again, the mind may tell you on the surface, no, I'm happy. Look at me. I'm great. I'm bad. I'm having the time of my life. Um, this sense is the, the parts that are not aligning, right? You're experiencing certain energies that you're not aligning with. Quite the opposite. You're shoving them into a corner. Being like you shut up. Shush. Don't bother me. And you think that's what makes you happy. Um, <clears throat> as a reminder, this has nothing to do with the other party, with what's going on on their side. With It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with your own validation of how you feel and what your available energies are for you to, to align with. Because they're yours. The more you shove those energies and those feelings of yours into a corner, the more you shove yourself into a corner. The more you tell those energies, shushy, don't speak to me, the more you tell yourself, shushy, don't speak to me. So that's why this energy is here of 
I feel like I don't feel complete. I don't think you can feel complete as long as those energies are all over the place and you're running away from them, you know, instead of just grabbing them and running with them and validating yourself. And there is a little bit of rejection. I feel like you've been doing that for before this connection even existed. This connection probably came in to take out these energies and put them right in front of you and be like, Taurus, deal with this. And you've been dealing with this at a very amplified level than before, but you've been doing this for quite some time. You know, where you didn't align necessarily with what was available and how you felt, how you truly felt about things. And again, this situation is here to reveal that for you. How you're gonna deal with it, your choice. Remember, free will. For the Ten of Swords, you get the Strength card, the Hangman, the Ten of Pentacles. There's an energy of stability here. There's an energy of like everlasting kind of energy. And I feel like this is what this connection is bringing. Like even though physically, yeah, physically it's probably not here. Probably not here, probably not gonna be here. I don't know. But your soul is tied up to this almost like in an eternal kind of energy here. You feel this bond that you feel you'll never get rid of. And again, you wanna get rid of it? You wanna get rid of yourself, translation. So there's a whole lot of stagnation here in this situation. There's a sense of this situation not even being physically present. Let's do the Queen of Swords. Four of Wands, Page of Wands, Nine of Wands. <laughs> See what the mind does. Even at the level of the mind, this energy is so strong that it's gonna try to take over and you can fight it and fight it and fight it but at some point it's gonna reach the level of the mind where it's like well does it make sense it kind of does but i do have the option to go against it from here if i align with this i'm not gonna have any option like that i have to align with myself here with what i truly feel about it but if i keep it here i can choose and i choose to reject it even when it reaches the the logical this situation this energy you're showing up as i choose to reject it again remember that translation you're not rejecting anyone but yourself here you know but how you feel the two of cups in the immediate future the six of swords the star the knight of pentacles Okay. Yeah, I see you still playing with this energy in terms of I'm gonna step away from it, but then I'm moving slow back towards it. There's there's this kind of shift of energies around your own desire, right? Your own alignment with what you feel. If you have stepped away from how you truly felt for years, maybe for a lifetime, and this is revealing that to you, and you're starting to push towards how you feel for the first time probably ever, you're not just gonna be like, okay, you know, I'm gonna take down the whole part where all my life I did this, and it's gonna happen in a split second. It, it is gonna happen like this, you know, in a motion that's slow, it's against it, then it's for it, then it's, you know, and slowly but surely you gain one more inch, basically towards validating how you feel. So this is kind of a normal kind of aspect here where I see you going away from it, out of this is all I did all my life, and then kind of like, no, I'm gonna fight against this energy and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start aligning with how I feel. And then slowly but surely kind of going back towards it. Let's do the moon in the immediate future. The world card, the temperance card, the eight of pentacles, things are starting to come to the surface more and more and more for you. And I feel like it's because you're allowing them, you know, uh, there's definitely a whole lot of, there's an ending of a chapter in, let me bury things within me. Let me keep secrets even from myself here. That cycle is coming to a close. And what's welcoming you outside of that is a whole lot of transformation, a, a life-changing kind of poof, 
like what the hell is happening kind of thing. And I see you working intensely on that. Now, don't expect for this to last five minutes or two minutes. It'll take a while, you know? Let's do the Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Fool. And then you're starting to, as you pull away from aligning with yourself, from probably this connection that's kind of calling you for some reason, it's calling you so that you can align with yourself. It's not calling you towards it, basically. Um, as you pull away from that, that's your time to grow. That's your time to heal. That's your time to step into your power. That's your time to find yourself, truly. And the more you find yourself, again, the more you gain that little inch towards aligning with yourself. And you get into this beautiful energy, ultimately, of, let me take a risk. Let me start feeling what I'm feeling and validating what I'm feeling. Let me see how that is for a change, you know? Uh, let's see what the universe has. This was intense, Taurus. Quite intense and quite healing. Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. You're in a position of confusion around this right now because I feel like you wanna, you wanna, you're being called, you know, to do something about something, to align with how you feel. And you've been trying to for quite some time and you will still kind of um, go in that direction. For right now, you're showing me a sense of confusion about it still, which is okay. Um, of I really want to do something, but I don't know, taking it back, uh, I want to go, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it's because you're, again, kind of holding yourself a prisoner of your own thoughts, basically. You're up here. That's what's happening. You're still not comfortable with aligning with here rather than here. So that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.